Hello, hi, it's the Web Pipster, and um, I'm want to make a a series of videos. Um, this is the introductory response to um, a video that's been put on YouTube from the John Cedar channel. Uh, incidentally, John Cedar channel is hosted by a guy called Lloyd. Um, it's really very good, and I highly recommend it to uh, people to watch, um, particularly if they are um, a former Jehovah's Witness or they're into um, uh, apologetics and want to understand where the Watchtower are coming from, um, and so they want some viewpoints, etc. It's really uh, uh, useful from that perspective. Uh, however, Lloyd's uh, being XJW, he's become an atheist, which um, is not surprising. Many Jehovah's Witnesses leave the society and do turn to atheism because they've been so... Uh, abused by the uh, by the the system of being a part of that particular group, uh, which many people would call a cult. Um, uh, and so his viewpoint on what is true Christianity, uh, from my perspective, is certainly twisted, um, because he was given as part of the Watchtower Bible Tract Society. Uh, as part as a Jehovah's Witness, he would be given a, a false gospel, a false Jesus, um, and a false scripture because the New World Translation, which is Jehovah's Witnesses' Bible, um, has been, and this is document documentarily provable, um, has been mis mistranslated intentionally um, to keep their members believe in what they say the Bible should be saying rather than letting the Bible speak for itself. And because of this, Lloyd's view on scripture has obviously been tainted as well. He does in one of his videos say that uh, he considers that Jehovah's Witnesses are Christians um, as a born again Christian. I would take umbrage with that. Uh, but the Jehovah's Witnesses themselves say that they are the only uh, organisation that Jehovah, is, that Jehovah is using on the face of the earth. Um, so they claim exclusivity, uh, and I as a Christian would certainly say that they are not Christian. And they would tell you to me, I'm not Christian, I'm part of Christendom. Um, I'm, not, I'm not a true Christian believer. They themselves are true Christian believers. Um, but they do believe things very different from us, and... Lloyd's interpretation of scripture uh, and understanding from a biblical perspective comes from that false teaching. And so when he comes together with someone like um, Alex O'Connor, who's the cosmic skeptic, um, please check out uh, Alex's channel if you're uh, interested in atheist perspectives. Um, but he does have a conversation on there, uh, which he had with um, Justin Wiley and um, uh, Frank Turek on the Unbelievable um, program on Premier Christian Radio. Uh, very interesting to listen to um, that. But when the two of them come together to be critical of Scripture, there's no, there is no debate as to whether there is uh, whether there is any other viewpoint. Um, other than atheism, that needs to be that needs to be uh, that the scriptures they're they're being critical of needs to be examined by. Um, they produced this video, twenty terrible ideas, and um, I think you can understand uh, um, why certainly Lloyd's distrust scripture so much. But he, he comes out and says um, at the start of the video, there are some there are some good things about scripture, about the Bible, but he says there are also some very bad things. And that's what they're going to go in and have a go at. Okay, I'm yet to see, uh, I'm yet actually to see an atheist produce a video on 20 great ideas of the Bible. Um, the New Testament says that... Uh, People have a, have a knowledge of God, but push him out. They refuse to believe. Um, and certainly, uh, 
and certain there's there's nothing in these critiques and descriptions to say that there is another perspective. Even if they disagree with the conclusions of that perspective, um, that, that's not being discussed here. Um, and Alex, being an atheist, uh, has got um, no qualms in in uh, in saying how terrible the New Testament is, even though Lloyd's evidence clearly comes from a Jehovah's Witness perspective, and sometimes they are clear abuses of Scripture, and hence because of that, um, the two of them just mishandle the Scripture just as much as Judge Jehovah's Witnesses would do. And I don't think they analyse it very fairly. Um, so, as these are just his perspectives and his opinions, um, I'm, I want to come across and say that what I'm going to share are my perspectives of these scriptures. To put these in these scriptures, these terrible scriptures and these terrible ideas that they're using, in a Christian perspective. A biblical, Bible-believing, Trinitarian Christian perspective, rather than the blinkered Jehovah's Witness perspective which they then tear down with um, uh, uh, false understanding from atheism um, so uh, just to give just to give a counter opinion you might disagree with my conclusions you might disagree with my 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 thoughts and reasonings um, which is fine but I would hope that you at least acknowledge that our other viewpoints and you'd at least have an understanding of where Christians are coming from even if even if you still like I say disagree with their with their conclusions you'll have an understanding where they come from so next time you are critical of the Bible and you're gonna give it a, a viewpoint based on the views by a certain group or whatever you'll hopefully beyond to say that many Christians, some Christians, would disagree with this interpretation, but it's on those grounds, that uh, these grounds that you're disputing. Okay, so, um, if you are watching Lloyd, uh, thanks for channel, I found it really, really interesting, really, uh, really, uh, yeah, really good, really well made. Um, well, I'm a born again Christian, so, um, I would, would support and agree with you on many of your beliefs and many of your conclusions. Um, however, uh, I think that um, I think judging by what you said, you maybe haven't encountered, or maybe um, I, I've got to see no evidence that you actually see things from a perspective of a Jehovah's Witness who has become a Christian and who they themselves would say that uh, there is a difference between the God and the Jesus of the Watchtower Society and the God and the Jesus of the Bible and of uh, which the Christian Church proclaims. Um, so uh, I would hope that maybe you'll look into that and at least you'll, you'll acknowledge that there are some other perspectives which don't um, match up and agree with what the Watchtower uh, have um, abused. Okay, thank you very much.